Sherwood Robin, as this koala has been named, is in the care of the Port Macquarie Koala Hospital. Like countless others who have come here, she is suffering from severe chlamydia driven by stress. And you don't see chlamydia exhibit as badly as this in bush settings where there's no people. What's driving the trend? Humans. Everything. Everything is us. Yeah, all human habitation. That's what drives it all. Stress-related diseases, dog bites and car collisions are the results of urban growth. No more home range or, or you know, as I said, a shrinking of it. And even, you know, and where you get big developments. You know, highways that were, were extending and widening and that takes out a lot of habitat. Australia's koalas are in trouble, listed as vulnerable in three key states in 2012. The most recent figures show a 40% drop in koala populations in New South Wales and Queensland in just 20 years. And in Port Macquarie, a strategy to save the animals is in the works. And a big part of that will also be looking at, um, you know, the what areas of, of conservation are, are available to koalas, you know, how those koala corridors, how they move through them, how those can be protected. It is not a, an easy um, issue to, to deal with in an area that there is a great deal of, of growth here. People want to move to the coast. The hardest part is when we get these young, healthy, beautiful condition um, males and females, you know, the breeding future of the, you know, the population, and they come in hit by cars or attacked by dogs and they die. And it's just, it just makes you wild. Don't push down too With renal failure and a painful death, a distinct possibility, Robin's prognosis is dire. Not for the first time, the centre may have to send another of these iconic marsupials to the great gum tree in the sky.